Mental Capacity Act 2005, Wikipedia Article Audio The Mental Capacity Act 2005 is an act of the Parliament of the United Kingdom applying to England and Wales. Its primary purpose is to provide a legal framework for acting and making decisions on behalf of adults who lack the capacity to make particular decisions for themselves. Key Features of the Act The Five Statutory Principles Summary of Other Key Elements of the Act Section 68, Commencement and Extent Timetable of New Features Amendments UK Legislation The five principles are outlined in the Section 1 of the Act. These are designed to protect people who lack capacity to make particular decisions, but also to maximize their ability to make decisions, or to participate in decision-making, as far as they are able to do so. 1. A person must be assumed to have capacity unless it is established that he slash she lacks capacity. 2. A person is not to be treated as unable to make a decision unless all practicable steps to help him slash her to do so have been taken without success. 3. A person is not to be treated as unable to make a decision merely because he slash she makes an unwise decision. 4. An act done, or decision made, under this act for or on behalf of a person who lacks capacity must be done, or made, in his slash her best interests. 5. Before the act is done, or the decision is made, Regard must be had to whether the purpose for which it is needed can be as effectively achieved in a way that is less restrictive of the person's rights and freedom of action. The following orders have been made under this section. The new measures that the Act introduced were Abridged 07 Oct 07 in response to the ruling by the European Court of Human Rights in HLV UK the Act was amended by the Mental Health Act 2007 in July that year. These additions are known as the Deprivation of Liberty Safeguards, and were implemented in April 2009. These amendments created administrative procedures to ensure the Act's processes are observed in cases of adults who are, or may be, deprived of their liberty in care homes or hospitals, thus protecting health and social care providers from prosecution under human rights legislation. Key elements of the dolls are that the person must be provided with a representative and given the right to challenge the deprivation of liberty through the court of protection, and that there must be a mechanism for the deprivation of liberty to be reviewed and monitored regularly. The dolls were introduced in response to the Bornewood case, on which the European Court of Human Rights ruled in October 2004 that a detention of an incapacitated patient which did not comply with Article 5 of the European Convention on Human Rights had taken place, in particular, a person who is detained must be told the reasons for the detention and must also, under Article 5, have the right of speedy access to a court to appeal against the detention. The Mental Capacity Act 2005 Order 2006, the Mental Capacity Act 2005 Order 2006, the Mental Capacity Act 2005 Order 2007, the Mental Capacity Act 2005 Order 2007, Mental Capacity Act 2005 Order 2007 A new criminal offence of willful neglect of a person without capacity, a new independent mental capacity advocacy service in England, a code of practice that tells people how to ensure they are following the Act. Extension of the Independent Mental Capacity Advocacy Service to Wales lasting powers of attorney and deputies, a new court of protection, 
a new office of the public guardian.